high axle. This is the RichTech RT1025. Um, it's a integrated sensor that includes two measurement techniques. The first measurement technique is a elect electrical electrocardiogram, basically measuring the electrical pulse from your heartbeat in an electrical way. So you see the sensor has two electrodes and basically these electrodes can be used to measure your electrical pulse of your heart. The other sensor that is on this board, it's a PPG. It's a measurement that uses an LED light that penetrates your skin and measures the reflection from basically the internal veins in your finger. And the blood circulation in your veins is basically also pulsing. And by measuring the reflection during this different uh, blood circulation pulsing, you can also measure your heartbeat. But one interesting fact of this sensor is that the two measurements combined can also be used to make an estimation of your blood pressure. Well, let me show you how this works. This sensor has a Bluetooth module. Basically, it's uh, this sensor has a Bluetooth module on there. So the RT1025 communicates with the Bluetooth module. The raw data of the measurements is then via the Bluetooth module transferred to for example, an app on your mobile phone. The mobile phone receives the raw data, does the manipulation of the data, and can extract the two waveforms. The top waveform here is the ECG waveform, and the bottom waveform is the PPG waveform, the, the, the measurement from your vein pulsa pulsing uh, blood circulation. And finally, after this measurement, you can get your heart rate and you can measure your blood pressure. Let's first make a demonstration how this works. So I will activate the app. The app now is operating and Axel, please put your finger on the LED sensor and put your under fingers on the electrodes on the back. And hold it steady. Here you can already see your R pulse from your heart rate. So this is the electrical signal and it says it needs to have a stable waveform, so keep it still. And you have to find, finally, a stable waveform for your PPG as well. As soon as the software detects stable waveforms for both readings, it now sees the R pulse and a very stable PPG waveform. From, this, from these two waveforms, you can calculate or estimate your blood pressure. And how is that done? Basically, if you look at your veins, your R pulse is from your heartbeat. It's an electrical signal that immediately travels through all your body. The R pulse basically means your heart is contracting. And then the heart pushes the blood through your veins to your fingers. Now, when the, R, when the blood travels through your fingers, it will take some time. And basically, the time it takes from the R pulse to the valley of a PPG waveform is a measure of blood pressure. High blood pressure means that your blood travels very fast and it basically results in a very short PTT time. Low blood pressure means the blood travels much slower and this therefore it takes longer time from the R pulse to the PPT waveform. So basically in this waveform here you see the R pulse, you see the PPT waveform and the software has made a calculation from this time to this time and thereby it makes an estimation of your blood pressure high reading and low reading. And this measurement is quite convenient because normally for blood pressure you need to add a cuff that needs to be pumped up. You have to measure and uh, reduce the pressure and this is really not a comfortable measurement. Yep. It's not a measurement that you can do very often in day. This, this sensor can for example be used in applications like a a, a, a patient sensor application. In this case, we have a sensor with two electrodes and the LED. This sensor can be worn across your chest. And for example, people that have a heart condition can use this sensor to basically monitor their heart rate and blood pressure several times a day. And the real important thing of this is that when there is a, a gradual change in blood pressure, this means there could be something with your heart and that would, could be an indication that you want to see your doctor. So these 
devices can be used as a monitoring system for people that may have a heart condition or want to be warned, or warned of any change in their blood pressure. Another application can be, for example, this sport watch. A sport watch, or maybe a sport watch including a belt, when you're exercising and after you're exercising, you would like to measure your heart rate, but also your blood pressure. It can be implemented even in just a single watch. The, the LED and the sensor, the bottom electrode, will be connected to, to your wrist. And you can add two sensors on top of your watch. And these are basically then measuring the ECG pulse. And by again combining these two signals, you can even in a sport watch get a measurement of your blood pressure. So how does this RT1025 uh, work? You see here, this is the evaluation board circuit. You have the biometric sensor in here. And the biometric sensor basically consists of these two systems. There are actually three electrodes for measuring your ECG. The ECG two electrodes are used to measure the differential signal. But because your, your body has a lot of noise which is coming from the environment, there is a third electrode that is used as a common mode cancellation electrode. So the common mode com cancellation electrode will remove the body noise and thereby it's able to measure this extremely small ECG pulse, which is microvolt level. The other sensor are two LEDs and a photodiode. Normally you will use one red LED and one IR LED and that by measuring, uh, by using the IR and the red LED, you can basically detect the difference in blood circulation and you can even make a measurement of your SpO2, your oxygen level in your blood. So this PPG measurement is not only able to measure heartbeat, but even SpO2, oxygen level, by using different sensors in this uh, module. Then you see on this board, we have also added an SRO, SRO meter the RT3001 and the RT3001 here can be used, for example, in sports applications or applications where you're moving a lot to make adjustments in the sensor settings. Because if you're moving a lot, it could be very easily influencing these measurements. Yeah. And by using an accelerometer input, you can basically provide offsets that make these measurements more accurately, even when you're moving around. Here is, uh, because you need to also provide power to all these modules, and here is an example of the power management solution that we provide. The Bluetooth module normally is uh, powered because it consumes very low energy. You can power this via an LDO. The other sensors, like the SRO meter and the biometric sensor, the, they have different input voltages. For example, they have a digital input voltage and an I.O. input voltage. And these voltages are normally using a buck converter because they consume more power. So in order to conserve battery life, it's very important that you use high efficiency converters for the high current applications and thereby they are saving you power. Another point is that most of these uh, applications will not be continuously operating. This sensor is now switched off because it's not active uh, measuring. And during the switch off time, all these circuits are basically operating at a very low question current. And even during the off time, you want to have good efficiency. And therefore, these parts are using extremely low question current. And these converters are able to achieve above 90% efficiency, even in these standby modes, and thereby extending your battery life also when the device is not used. So finally, well, that's basically, uh, let me see, what is the final thing? Um, I'll just make it up. So, Axel, I hope this was interesting for you. Very interesting. And uh, it's, uh, well, really an interesting application. Uh, we will try to uh, make a, a kit which includes uh, the evaluation board and an app that we can provide to our customers. And the customers then can first, well, see how it works and they can try to develop their own application inside either a sport watch application or a medical sensor or well basically anything you can think of brilliant okay Thank thanks you. a lot